Related rates. A six-foot-tall man walks toward a ten-foot light pole at night at the rate of two feet per second. How fast is his shadow shrinking? Uh, how fast is the uh, tip of his shadow moving toward the lamp pole? Okay, let's see what this involves here. We got this guy and he's six feet tall and he's walking toward this lamp pole and as we remember when we were kids playing around with our shadow uh, as you walk away from the light your shadow gets bigger and as you walk toward the light it gets smaller okay and uh, it can be described by these two right triangles this big right triangle here and this smaller one which are similar triangles that piece of information will be very useful to us now here's the setup there we go now we got some variables here We've got um, y here, x here, and z, which is x plus y. And it's important to remember this big triangle I'm, I'm outlining here is similar to this smaller right triangle here. These are both right triangles, and it's similar to that. Therefore, we could say easily that uh, 6 over y equals 10 over z, or let me say it this way, y over 6 equals z over 10, or we could substitute x plus y for z and that's what we're going to do and that's the whole trick to solving this problem the other thing you have to remember is the shadow is shrinking while he's walking toward the lamppost but he's also moving the shadow because he's walking so you have two rates there so you have to be careful with that uh, we know that dx dt that's the change in this x value with respect to time is negative two feet per second we want to know dy dt, which is uh, it's the rate of the shadow shrinking. There's the, there it is. There's a y there. See y there. As that y shrinks, that's the shadow shrinking. And dz dt is the rate of the tip of the shadow as he moves toward the lamppost. So dz dt is how fast the tip of the shadow is moving. So we want to know those two things. Well, we know that z is x plus y, okay, uh, and y over 6 equals z over 10, and y over 6 also equals x plus y over 10, because remember z equals x plus y. So let's go back and take a look at that again, just real quick. We know that um, 6 over y equals 10 over z, and we know x plus y equals z, and that's how we relate the variables. We're relating the variables here in various ways. And when we get this y over 6 equals x plus y over 10, we want to solve for y. We could solve for x or whatever, but just simplify it down to two variables. Now we relate the rates. So the first one, of course, if y equals this, then um, y equals 3 halves x, then dy dt equals 3 halves dx dt and with implicit differentiation with respect to time. Okay, so that gives us one of our answers because we know dx dt, it's given in the problem as negative 2 feet per second. So dy dt is 3 halves times negative 2 feet per second. So dy dt is uh, the shadow is shrinking at 3 feet per second. And we know um, z equals x plus y, so dz dt equals dx uh, dt and dy dt. Well, dy dt we just found and dx dt is negative 2 given from the problem. So that's what I just said, dx dt is negative 2, we know that, that was from the problem. So dz dt equals negative 2 minus 3, which is negative 5 feet per second. There's dz dt up there, right? Uh, now remember in the beginning of the problem, we want to know dy dt which we now know is 3 feet per second, the rate of the shadow shrinkage, and dz dt, which is, we now know to be negative 5 feet per second, uh, is the rate of the shadow tip moving toward the lamppost.